Hello friends, welcome to the channel Creative Art. My name is Dilma and today we are going to make this beautiful portrait of mother and baby as this was a request from many days to paint a face, to paint mother and baby. Please do show us how to do the lining part, do the framing part. So in this particular video, I have covered all your answers. So please do watch the whole video and do not forget to subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos. All the materials required to make this last painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativearthome.com. So enjoy painting friends. Friends, let's check out all the materials which we are going to require for glass color painting. First of all, we'll be requiring favorite glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. We are going to use 261 metallic gold camelin glass liner. 262 silver metallic camelin glass liner 259 metallic bronze glass liner as well as 832 black glass liner of course which is free with the pack if you are not having any of these metallic liners you can also use simply the black liner and if you are having the golden liner it would be best for lining as i have shown and used these four liners for this particular picture and the most important thing is the glass sheet if you are comfortable in using glass please do buy a glass sheet if uh, you find it difficult you can easily get this ohp sheet from any of the craft stores art stores or general stores bookstores or you can buy it from online the link is given in the description box below from where you can buy any of these glass painting materials okay so let's start first of all we'll place our transparent ohp sheet or else a glass sheet on the photocopy we are going to paint and using tape we'll be securing all the four corners So here all the four corners are secured now. Using 261 metallic gold cannon glass liner, we'll start outlining this image. You can start lining from any of the sides you feel comfortable. This time for lining, we are also going to use 262 silver camel glass liner and I'll also be using black color glass liner. So friends, in the same way, we'll do the outlining of the remaining part and I'll show you how does it looks, okay? Here friends, you can see that my lining part is totally completed now. So using a cutter, I'll remove all the four secure corners. Okay, after removing all the four secure corners, I'll place it on a plain horizontal surface. Now we are going to start coloring our glass painting using fabrical glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades, okay? First of all, I'm just applying a very red color to the mother lips and also to baby's lip. Okay, so first of all, we'll be starting coloring from lady's hair, then baby's hair, then skin and the background parts. For lady's hair, I have selected three colors. This is a combination of orange and red. Second color is orange. I have selected plain orange and the third color would be mixing a combination of 50-50 uh, brown and orange. Okay, that will give a bit light color which is required. It will be lighter than brown, but it will be brighter, okay? So first of all, we'll start coloring her hair with the brown color. Make sure that there are no bubbles when you start coloring. If you see that there are bubbles outcoming, then please clear or clean your dropper. Shadow through the sun rays and oh. 
change in my color okay now i'm going to use a maroon color it's a combination of brown and red Okay, the same color we are going to apply for baby hair. There are only two colors which we are going to apply to baby's hair. One is this, a mixture of brown and red. And second is a mixture of a brown and orange. Now thirdly I'm going to use a combination of brown and orange. Now friends, we'll be coloring the face part. For that, we are going to use water-based skin color. I have already shown you how you can make it in the video color mixing chart and also the second skin color combination which we ready-madely get in the market. So this is how we'll do our shading part. We'll put some colors on the cheek part first. Skin color which we have. Both the colors slowly, very differently. There should be no bubbles in the face, and that you can just destroy your painting. Only some finishing touch by adding some more glimmers of pain. And mix it using the skin. Color. Let these part get dry. After that, I just make very simple skin color all over the face. Leave a bit tint over here and a bit on the nose. A bit over this eye to give it a shading. Try to just little mix this both the colors. Okay, it looks perfect. And we'll give it a headline over here using the darker skin color and then mix it all. So your color of the face is finally completed. Now we'll color the baby's face and body. We are going to just make a cheek over here. Mixing both the colors and create that effect. some more dark pink because it really looks very good on the baby and I'm using in dark girl skin and the hair I'm exactly using the skin color and pull it over Okay, so here after painting both the faces, we'll be painting mother's body part, which is quite very easy now, as we have completed all the complications. 
just give some skin color over here darker one and layer it all over here hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no i don't want to waste what's left and I Just simply color the background which are remaining. I'm using sea blue over here and ultramarine blue over here. I'm using crystal green. Now I'm using parrot green color. Now I'm going to use a combination of sea blue and ultramine blue. I have taken here two third of sea blue and one third of ultramine blue and so here we'll get this kind of color. Now just giving it a final touch of part, coloring all the flowers on her headpiece as well. So friends, your painting is finally completed. So I let it get dry and show you how this looks. Okay, yeah, friends, this is how our glass painting looks when it has got dried up completely. So this is the surface we have painted okay which should be inside the frame and this should be output of the frame so this is how our glass painting looks when it has got dried up and this is the front face of it i'll show you exactly how it should be framed okay this is how our glass painting looks my suggestion would be frame this beautiful glass painting using a golden border frame i'm going to show you how you can frame it this is my golden frame back side and this is the plain surface which we have to flip it and put it in the frame then here i have used a white color paper for back side so that the shadings in this painting must be much more clear you can also use a aluminium foil and this is how the outcome is over here you can put it vertically or horizontally as you like it i'll show you in the both the ways so this is how it looks horizontally and please do tell me in the comments below how did you find this video and if you did like this video friends please do like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching